Hey, some exciting e-commerce update you might be missing out. Like, there are new announcement on FBA fees. EV unveils new tools to boost sales. Walmart rules out new ratings and review dashboard. TikTok expands businesses into new countries. These stories and more on today's episode of e-commerce updates and news from me. How exciting is that? Pretty much, I think. Number 1. Update on low inventory level fee. Our first update on Amazon is about low inventory level fees. You know, a lot of buzz going on about this issue from the start of 2024. The buzz is not over yet. This month, Amazon responded to seller's reaction on this matter. As you know, in December 2023, Amazon announced that they are going to add a low inventory level fee on FBA. The seller's reaction was unsatisfactory. And it's been a great debate since then. Taking feedback from Amazon sellers, now Amazon brings some changes. If you followed the previous update, they said sellers don't need to pay this fee from April 1st to April 30th. In the last update, they have extended the window two more weeks. So sellers will be charged for this fee from May 15th. Well, a lot of sellers asked, what about the end of life products and the seasonal products? Do you have to give fees for this? And Amazon clarified that in the last update, it says that because of the greater unpredictability in managing inventory levels for seasonal and end of life, low inventory level fees will not be applied to products that have sold less than 20 units in last 7 days. So, if your seasonal products only sold 20 units in a month, you were safe. Meanwhile, you will be credited back for any low inventory level fees incurred between April 1st and May 14th. Another thing is Amazon will not charge you a lot of inventory level fee if you have a lightning deal or base deal during Prime Day. This exception will apply for the 4 weeks following Prime Day 2024. Because at that time inventory level becomes more unpredictable. Number 2. Amazon's new return processing fee. Are you prepared? Now it's time to tell you about a new fee that comes on Amazon. The announcement says starting June 1st, 2024, the return processing fee will go into effect for products with high return rates, except apparels and shows. This fee is originally announced as part of the 2024 US fee changes, and Amazon will charge the fee after the close of each 3 months period. For example, for the return of units shipped in June, the fee will be charged in September. Now, the question is, are the sellers prepared for the new fee? Here are three key points to consider. First, number of return units and return rate percentage will be used to calculate this fee. Second, minimum return rate threshold above which fees are charged. And third, number of return units above the threshold for which fees are charged. These three new things will be included in the return inside dashboard. Sellers need to go through those listings and be prepared. Number three, Amazon launches in South Africa plans expansion to Ireland next year. The next update on Amazon is about the expansion of its empire. This month, they have announced the launch of Amazon Co.GA, which is for South Africa. From now on, customers in South Africa can shop from a wide variety of local and international brands, take advantage of great prices and enjoy same day and next day delivery. This is available by either downloading the Amazon shopping app or visiting www amazon.co.ga on desktop or mobile browsers. For FBA products, customers will enjoy free delivery on their first order. Customers will also receive status updates via WhatsApp. So they can track their order at every step of the way. So this is good news for both sellers and shoppers. And this is followed by another piece of good news. In a recent announcement, Amazon said they are planning to launch in Ireland next year. They said the new online store will feature a wide selection, including more products from Irish businesses with local prices, so shoppers from Ireland have to hold the excitement a little longer. Number 4. Amazon is using AI for packaging. If you are using FBA, the boxes that your products are sent to customer in will be most likely selected by AI. In a recent news article, Amazon said they are trying to reduce packaging waste. That's why they came up with new AI system to select packaging. It will help to choose optimal packaging that would reduce waste and protects from damages. The AI model is named Packaging Decision Engine. It uses a combination of deep machine learning, natural language processing and computer vision to determine the most effective packaging. For example, it can predict 
when a more durable product like a blanket doesn't need protecting packaging or when a fragile item like a dinner set requires a protective box the model helps to reduce the number of cardboard boxes air pillows steps and mailer used to send purchases to customers so don't be upset if you see fewer cardboard boxes in your product packaging now a few small updates i would like to share first one is about amazon ads summit especially for prime day if you are interested in participating then save the dates which are june 4th and june 5th it says don't miss the chance to join our amazon ads expert for exclusive workshops in depth discussion q and a's and demos next article is from cnbc it says amazon plans to give alexa an ai overhaul and a monthly subscription price well it hasn't been confirmed by amazon but it's going to be interesting because people want to see how it's going to change the shopping experience with that also there are expectation like better optimize your listing in the overhaul let's see what happened next update is from linkedin post of amazon ads tech even gilist jeffrey cohen he said on the post that there will be a collaboration between amazon ads and canva it will allow you to seamlessly connect canva to your amazon ads creative library and import export your brand content so it will be more efficient than ever if you are already using canva for creating contents and listing for amazon ads this is good news for you now another good news for brand on amazon they can now add size charts with a new safe surf tool so adding size chart will be easier if you are enrolled in brand registry the next article i am going to show you is from payments.com the headline says amazon ramps up logistic expansion to speed delivery reduce costs it seems to compete with rivals like walmart shane and temu amazon is focusing on the strategy the wall street journal said on a report the company is focusing on acquiring industrial property and restarting its distributor network to enhance packaging delivery speed and reduce shipping cost according to report amazon has leased bought or announced plans of over 16 million square feet of new warehouse space in the us this year alone now we are going to talk about ev unveils number 1 ev unveils new seller hub marketing tab we have two new updates in our hand about ev first one is about the new seller hub marketing tab in recent announcement ev said they have redesigned the seller hub marketing tabs summary page It is now easier for the sellers to discover and access the wide range of tools that are available to help them grow their eBay business. They have added a new tools like create promotional button, activity tracker and simplified left navigation. Number 2, product research is now on mobile. Now seller can access product research anywhere anytime because they can use the tool called product research, formerly known as Terrapic. on mobile from now on you can research and list your items directly on your phone or tablet while on the go this tool is available in the ebay mobile app on ios and android now we are going to tell about the walmart updates walmart rules out new rating and reviews dashboard well this is a small update in recent announcement walmart said now you can connect reviews to specific orders and pinpoint the product behind a positive or a negative feedback They also said this will make it easier to resolve issues with fulfillment, listing quality or customer service. So this initiative aims to increase the overall customer experience which is pretty good. Now the update is for TikTok shop. TikTok expand e-commerce businesses into Mexico and Western Europe. The last update of our monthly buzz is about the world famous short video sharing platform TikTok's online shopping feature TikTok shop. The news article is published in the South China Morning Post. The article says the popular social media app is expanding its online shopping feature TikTok Shop into more countries. This includes Mexico, France, Germany, Italy and Spain. Merchant in these countries are being invited to beta test before its official launch this summer. To sell on TikTok Shop, merchants must meet certain criteria. For example, in Mexico, they need to have a local business registered and may have some restriction on what they can sell initially like food and jewelry this move will make tiktok shop available in a total of 13 markets around the world it will allow the users to purchase products directly through the app this comes after a setback in 2022 when plans to launch in some european countries were halted due to challenges in the uk the platform aims to learn from past experience and now inviting merchandise to join tiktok shop 
in these new markets. This move shows TikTok's commitment to growing its online shopping feature and reaching more users worldwide. Its parent, ByteDance, launched TikTok Shop in the UK and Indonesia in 2021 and then expanded to Southeast Asia in 2022. The US got the TikTok Shop in September last year. TikTok Shop is doing really well in the US. Over 500,000 merchants were selling to US users on the app by end of 2023. And worldwide, there are now over 15 million sellers on TikTok Shop. And that's a wrap for this edition of Monthly Buzz. We prepare this show every month only for you guys. We try to cover a range of exciting news and updates for the e-commerce sellers. We carefully short and pick everything just to assure that you are not missing out anything important. So if you are enjoyed the show, please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next month with more exciting news. Till then, take care.